Welcome to Explore Embedded. In this tutorial, we'll look at interfacing a 7 segment display with the 805 mm microcontroller. We'll just not interface it, we'll program it and display uh, digits uh, on the 805 mm. Uh, I mean on the 7 segment with the help of 805 and microcontroller. Before you go ahead and look, uh, do that, let's go ahead and look at the basics of a 7 segment display. Now, uh, 7 segment displays, they come in various sizes from 0.28 inches to 7 inches, a large 7 inch display. So you get, get it in various sizes. Yeah. Also, you get a lot of colors in them. So they come in uh, red, green, yellow, orange, blue, and white. Basically, they come in all the colors that we get our light emitting diodes uh, in. And uh, since we already done interfacing with LEDs, it's a natural uh, transition to go ahead and interface seven segments because seven segments are nothing but uh, basically seven LEDs uh, connected in a peculiar fashion. So these are A to F, uh, these are the seven LEDs uh, plus there is a decimal point. So as, as you could imagine, uh, these can run through digits zero to nine and uh, as well display letters A to F. Uh, now, if you could say we cannot display the capital letters because uh, uh, most of them like say for example uh, a b a capital b would uh, look like eight so uh, usually what is done is uh, digits zero to nine are displayed then uh, letters are displayed uh, in small letters so uh, basically this is used to display numbers or digits from zero to nine you should have seen this in weighing scales and uh, a whole lot of applications where you uh, really need to uh, display only numbers. Now, uh, these come in two types. So uh, the eight segments, uh, and they, they are tied together uh, either on cathode or on anode. So as you could see now, as in this case, so if if they are tied uh, to a cathode and if we tie this cathode to the ground and if we give one uh, to this this particular led uh, the led a or the segment a will glow so uh, now you could get, know as to how the uh, segments i mean with individual segments we can make it to display any digit or uh, any number so similarly you have a common anode type in common anode type all the anodes are tied together and basically this is uh, pulled high or uh, this is given to vcc so whenever we uh, give a zero logic zero on the other side that particular led glows so uh, these are basically two very simple types and as you could see these are nothing but leds which are connected in groups now uh, just a few points to note here. LEDs have uh, a maximum current of say about 20 milliamperes and segments have uh, 40 milliamperes of current rating. Most of these uh, smaller ones have these rating per segment. So uh, if we drive through them, uh, them through uh, through a microcontroller pin they might not get sufficient current as we had discussed in the first video the uh, ports give current somewhere between uh, 15 to 26 milliamperes of the 8051 so uh, before we go ahead and do that uh, let us look at how we could uh, generate or generate a pattern or digits with these segments now uh, let's start with the, the common uh, cathode type of uh, segments now as you could see here for common cathode type uh, the the common terminal is put to ground and uh, if we send a logic one uh, to this particular bit this glows so uh, active uh, this is basically you can call it as uh, active high segment so let us go ahead and uh, generate a pattern or display for seven segment now as you could see again the arrangement is this is segment a b c d e f and g so when we draw it uh, in a schematic way it's a to g and i am not drawn the decimal point so so this is a to g and the decimal point now let us see uh, what would be the pattern for 
displaying digits 0 to 9 and letters A to F. Now, the uh, I've taken this to be uh, bit D7. So this is our bit D0. Now, say for example, uh, let's start with uh, the digit 0. Now, to display 0, we need to turn on uh, all the segments. So we need to give logic 1 to all the segments except the G and the decimal point. So this is uh, dp decimal point so except g and dp everything else is one so let me just put uh, uh, zero to g and dp and this is all ones and as we know uh, it's it's good to write these numbers in hex uh, so that we can declare array and put all of this in our array and uh, in this tutorial what we'll be doing we'll be displaying digits 0 to 9 and a to f on a segment so the x code for this will be this is f and this is uh, this is f and yeah this is one as well so this is f and this is c so this is 0 x f c now similarly for one this is our one For one, only two segments will be turned on. So B and C will be one. So B and C will be one. Rest of the segments will be zero. So this that that will be six, and this will be zero. So it will be zero x uh, six zero in hex. So similarly, to display number two, we'll have this turned on, this turned on, this turned on and this turned on so the segment c will be turned off so this is r2 so in 2 we have a b g and d turned off so uh, the only thing is just left out is c f and decimal point so c will be 0 f will be 0 and decimal point will be 0 and we will have all ones likewise you can go ahead and uh, verify the code the segment code for all the all the digits 0 to 9 and even letters a b c d e n f so this would be uh, this is c and d d and a so this would be d a right so similarly you can go ahead and uh, display i mean calculate for three it would be f two four it would be six six likewise it goes on till f and for f it would be seven zero uh, now this is for common anode now for common cathode uh, the segment that glows i mean let's just go back to the yes so for the uh, common anode type so whenever we give a logic zero the segment glows because the circuit completes then so you'll have to invert uh, all the data if you're using a common anode type of uh, display so uh, this tutorial will be using a common anode uh, throughout and we'll even do a demonstration on that all right so uh, let us go ahead and look at the schematic now now the schematic should be pretty simple so uh, there's just one point that needs to be understood here so uh, say this is our segment So, uh, if we have all the uh, seven lines or eight lines from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and this is decimal point. So, so this is our display. Now, 
whenever we now this should be connected to the controller uh, port so uh, this goes to the controller microcontroller port now we know that the uh, the port can supply very less amount of current which is about 20 milliamperes now uh, uh, that is fine if I mean we can directly connect 20 milliamperes here uh, the LED segment will glow but it will not be as bright so uh, we'll do that directly now uh, there's one more thing that we need to consider now the common cathode that we have that pin a uh, pin needs to be connected to ground now these are the segment data lines and the common cathode and that we that we have seen previously these needs to be connected to ground or uh, if there are multiple segments we use this pin to select a particular segment now if we go ahead and connect this particular pin to a microcontroller port pin now this will be connected to one port so these are eight bits and this will be connected to a eight bit port now if you go ahead and connect this as well to a port pin now what happens is uh, the current will flow like this is a simple led inside so the current will flow now from here and go to this pin so it will be grounded by this pin now if all the segments are turned on like say in letter uh, eight if you display letter 8 everything will be turned on and all the current will flow from the data lines to the ground pin so this current will be very high in fact it would be uh, 20 milliamperes into um, 708 so this is a pretty high uh, amount of current for the input pin so instead of directly connecting this uh, to a port pin where we select we use a transistor to switch it so let me just connect a transistor so in this case the transistor will be used as a switch so we'll have okay so we'll have a transistor here you could use a BC 547 and you can put a collect uh, a current limiting resistor here and so now this the current needs to be very high very uh, low uh, to turn this on so even a 10 kilo ohm resistor would do and this would as, as well this can be 1 kilo ohm and now what happens is uh, this port pin is only used to select this segment so we can even uh, have multiple segments like this and then we can share the database this will uh, database and this will discuss in a little while so uh, this is the basic circuit so uh, uh, for uh, this particular example let's say uh, this is connected to port of the 8051 so if this is 8051 we'll look at a cleaner diagram in just a while so okay so say this is 8-bit port and this is port 2 and this is say port 1.0 so 1.0 is simply used to select this segment so this will come in handy if we have multiple segments uh, we could have, uh, as well tied this to ground if if it is only uh, one segment so uh, so now what we need to do is uh, we need to declare array and uh, write all the hex codes that we did previously and then we need to switch the array elements one at a time and we, we need to transfer through the array uh, one uh, we can display a digit for about a second and then so it go to the next and so on so uh, let us go ahead and look at the cleaner uh, schematic or circuit now again the essential parts remain same we need a crystal uh, to and basically we need power first and then we need crystal to uh, give the timings to the controller and then uh, so that it boots up and then we need a reset circuit uh, so 
they said needs to be tied to ground as discussed earlier and we have the uh, segment here so as you can see uh, port 2.0 is connected to uh, 2.7 is connected to segment a and 2.0 is connected to decimal point so we have uh, the database connected data bus connected to port 2 and this uh, segment selection it is shown through a, a label and it is uh, driven from port 0, 0.0 now uh, okay so let's go ahead and uh, uh, I mean before we go ahead and look at the code for that I just want to tell you uh, say if uh, this is our segment so let me draw a cleaner segment this time so if this is a segment this is a single segment say okay and say if you want to display a message or you want to display uh, four digits so what you could do is so yes so say uh, all the uh, so we have say four segments one two three and four so we can do interesting stuff with this and now this can count from uh, if we are counting decimal this can count from zero 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 to nine 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 or we could display messages such as fire and help so uh, now one thing what you could observe is uh, to drive one single segment we need eight pins now if we have multiple segments we do not have as many ports so what we do is we multiplex like say a is common through all the four segments b is common through all the four segments so in this way we will uh, connect all the segments together so the database is uh, data bus for all the segments is connected to say port 2 now uh, now uh, we have this CC for, for simplicity I missed out the uh, resistors in the circuit so let's say we have this uh, common cathode or the line which we can use to select a particular segment now say this is connected to another port say port 1 now what we need to do is we need to uh, say display um, uh, a number 0 or 1 1 1 now uh, what we do is we turn on the first display uh, the first segment and display the number 1 and uh, what we do is we switch very fast so uh, we we uh, in fact do not wait for any time so uh, we just switch uh, say in a millisecond and go to the next display and display one here as well and in another millisecond we go here display a one we go to the last segment display a one and when we do this uh, this particular displaying once on all the segments switching and displaying once on all the segments if you do this at a very fast rate or uh, and uh, if you do it for say about 50 to 100 times it looks as if we are displaying once on all the segments at a time now, this is a pretty interesting thing to solve now what is still more interesting is uh, instead of displaying uh, all the segments the same letters we need to display uh, we can do a counter say uh, for, for the first time it's just 001 for the second time it's 0010 now in this case what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, a display 001 here and then uh, while switching to the next thing uh, you need to again display this pattern so this is a pretty interesting uh, problem to solve so uh, the code for this as well as there on the tutorial page uh, you can go ahead and check the demo as well as uh, the the problem there so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, complete uh, the single segment first now 
so with this what you could do is if you have a circuit which has four segments multiplexed you can uh, display digits 000 to 999 and you can display messages such as fire and help all right so with this you can appreciate the speed of the controller and the way in which you can use it uh, to to do tasks which are pretty fast all right so let's go ahead and look at the code so uh, the register 51.h it's a standard file we used it in previous thing it defines all the register uh, definitions now delay.h uh, it's uh, it's a file which we have written it includes all the delay functions like this so uh, and uh, as we have said so the segment value of the segment data is connected to port 2 uh, now this will come in handy later so the segment selection line or the common cathode from the segment it's connected to port uh, 0 and we have defined segment 1 as 0x01 so likewise if we have two segments you can define segment 2 as 0x02 so you can select and switch and so on and so forth so uh, look at the main program so basically we will have uh, array unsigned care we used unsigned because it just takes eight bits so we have a array of unsigned uh, yeah, characters and we named it as segment code and it has all the 16 codes that are required to display digits 0 to 9 and letters a to f so these are uh, the 16 codes so we will define one more variable which will run through this 16 uh, code so let us say that this is count and we'll initialize with zero now uh, the code is again pretty simple so we'll run a loop here uh, from the count is zero to count is f so this is this will do uh, 15 and so it's less than equal to uh, equal to f in hex so this will do from uh, zero to 15 there are 16 characters now segment selection which is port 0 we have made it as segment 1 so in this example we will have only one segment so that is selected and then uh, what you do is you uh, you take the first or uh, the zeroth element of this array segment code and you display the code fc and if you remember this fc displays uh, zero so uh, likewise and just we wait for a second and then it, it, it the loop goes up and it increments and uh, you display the second uh, so c here is the c plus plus if it's not visible so it increments and it, it runs through the entire array and and displays digits zero to f so once you compile this code and flash it you will see uh, and when you want to make the connections you will see the uh, output so yeah we will show you a demo we will flash the hex code and show you a little demo you sit back and enjoy and what you could do is in the uh, in the uh, you could interface the seven i mean four segments and you can display digits you can display messages and there are a few examples on the tutorial page where you can download the code and test it for yourselves uh, enjoy the demo thank you for watching